I'm inserting the plutonium batteries now. Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomic TV. Stand by for a classic toy review. So you guys may know that I live on a secret island in the South Pacific. And every now and then, me and my security team, we take the boats up the river, we go way up into the jungle, and we look for these toys. Because up there, out there in the jungle, they don't get new toys very often. So they make the toys last a long time. So when you go to the store, you can find some kind of old toys. And I found this little gem. This, uh, it looks like a radio. It says it's a radio. Of all things, it's by Spin Master. Spin Master, those are the guys that made Bakugan. And Air Hogs, you know Air Hogs probably, yeah. And they made this also. And it has a uh, French on it, I think, yeah. And uh, it's supposed to be a radio. I'm looking in this package. I don't see a uh, date, but I suspect it's about five or six years old. It says on the side here, it says, uh, did you know radio waves travel at the speed of light? Did you know that? And bounce off clouds and tornadoes. I didn't know that. They bounce off buildings. It includes a bunch of parts here. You have to add the batteries. It's an FM radio. It may not work where I am because I'm out here in the Pacific, but we'll uh, configure, reconfigure your radio different ways. See, and I, I need this. I got this because I'm building, I'm building a top secret, some top secret machinery. And I'm going to need something like this. Uh, you'll, you'll find out when you find out. So, well, let's open this up and have a look. So here's what you get when you open it up. Oh, you get some, uh, you get some plugs, some cables, and some switches. I like that. I always like cables and switches. You get some plastic. It looks like this is a battery compartment. This must be, I don't know, and uh, some directions. Yeah, wait a minute. That's a pretty sophisticated piece of gear. I, I think you don't want to throw the directions away. Yeah, I think not, no. And, uh, <laughs> and some plastic parts. And a speaker, a real speaker. I suppose it works. All right, well, let's start putting it together. Okay, so here's another look at the pieces part. So yeah, there's a, a real speaker here. That's about the heaviest piece because speakers need a magnet. Did you know that? Yeah. And uh, and then there's the housing. I guess it's just four, you know, uh, five pieces of plastic. And uh, this thing is the uh, the battery compartment. It needs two AAA. Double A battery, something like that. So I've got a switch box, and it looks like a tuner. Where is the radio part? <laughs> Where is the radio? And then there's a, another switch. It looks like it's probably an OFF switch. And then some other wires, and an antenna. All right, you ready to put it together? Let's go. Let's look at these directions. Okay, so I got it put together. You know, I pressed each of these components into this little box, the frame, the case. And, uh, you know, I switched it on. And at first I was just getting feed. All I could get was some feedback. You know, not even static. And I'm thinking, oh, man, this is a rip. But then suddenly it started working. Here, I'll let you, I'll let you hear. Come on. All right, switching it on now. And now it's there. Wow! It's, it, it's, see, it's foreign because I'm, I'm, I'm in the jungle. Here, let's change it. Let's, you can change the channel. All right, the same thing. All right, nothing. Nothing. Come on, there's something over here. 
Selamat tinggal. 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 Selamat tinggal.